what's really good fam it is your boy david brand new back with another video for you ah and today we got another banger video for you guys all right today we're gonna be doing a diy conversion kit on this beautiful bike here guys this is a mongoose dolomite it's a 26 inch fat tire bike we're gonna be throwing the kit on this joint it's gonna be a banger so stay tuned hit that like button don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's get into the joint if you've been keeping up with the channel you know that this is not my bike this is my neighbor george's bike say what's up to the people real quick hey what's up people <laughs> it's your boy george he's had this bike for a while and he's been wanting to put a kit on there so we're gonna do it today all right i don't know what the kit is it could be a thousand watts it could be five thousand but uh we're gonna make it work right daddy that's right <laughs> all right so let's bring the bike in and let's show them everything that we got in the kit and make sure that we have everything. All right, let's go. Let's do this, y'all. Let's go. All right, so we're gonna do this small box first. Let's see what's inside of here. So we got the charger in this box. We got some stuff that doesn't look too fun. I don't know. We'll see what this is. We got your battery cables right here, XT60s. We got the keys. Don't want to lose these. Put them up here. All right, so this is what I was talking about. I was telling my dad that this is going to be a different build because we're, we're used to mounting a battery right here. Right here. Well, check this out. All right. Oh, this battery is heavy, guys. So as I was saying, it's, it's going to be different because this battery is mounted inside this this rear rack so hopefully this rack will fit on this bike's frame we don't even know but here's the battery and here's the rack so as you can see the battery just slide right here in the rack but i don't know man what you thinking what size battery is this oh george okay so george george didn't go cheap okay we have a 52 volt 20 amp hour battery big boy stuff right here dang george that's gonna be a lot of power hey that's how you do it george that's what i'm talking about all right this should be the hub motor right here so as you guys can tell we got the big boy 26 inch and like i said george did it right check it out check it out we got a red rim look what we got on the bike red rims guys that's how you do it so it's gonna look super dope. Now we got a matching rim. Shout out to you, George, man. You're making life easy right now, man. This bike gonna almost be like a sleeper because the rims are matching, the batteries on the rack. Integrated, yeah. It's gonna be a sleeper bike for sure. Where's the controller though? So here we have the pedal assist. Forgot about this, I hate this. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I hate this. But I know George likes the pedal, so we're gonna have to throw that on the bike. So this is going to be the housing unit for the phase wires. I'll show you guys all that in a little bit. This is just to clean up your wiring. We got these cheap grips right here. I'm sure he don't want these on there. So we'll probably most likely use these. What is this? Oh, look at him. We got a thumb throttle. Thumb throttle. So let me show you guys because this was going to be an issue. Check this out. So the shifter on this bike is a twist shifter. It's not like the typical one where you click it. It, it would have been hard if this came with a half twist throttle because this is where the half twist throttle would be. George got the thumb throttle. So I'm pretty sure it's gonna work out. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure, we'll see, we'll see. I'm so happy, dude. I thought it was gonna be a little bit difficult. You know, so far it's looking good. Here's the brake lines. These ones are specific to e-bikes because it has this uh, this extra wire right here. This will detect if you're engaging your brakes and it'll cut the power to the motor. Also, guys, I put out a poll on YouTube asking you guys if you guys wanted this video to be detailed or kind of like highlights. You guys voted detail. So it's gonna be a detailed video. It's not gonna be a lot of jokes. Like I'm actually gonna be teaching you guys how to do this. So get some popcorn. It's about to be a movie, guys. Get your pad and your pen ready. For real. Take notes. What is this? Okay, we got torque arms. Yes, we don't have to order these. This is good. And then we have the controller. This is this is gonna make or break this build right here, okay? I'm hoping for at least 25 amps. Let's see. Max amps, 35. We're good, we're good. So 
if my calculations are right, what's 35 times 52? Let me get the calculator. So we got 35, that's the amps, times the battery voltage, which is 52. It's gonna be a little bit more when you fully charge it, but 52. We're pushing out 1800 watts on this bike, okay? So, some power. And then right here we have, I believe a SW900 or 800, I forget the model number of these. Actually, no, this is a KT LCD3. Yeah, I've used this on a build before. These are really good, and you can adjust the settings in there too. And then here's the little mount, just to mount it on your handlebars. I think we're good to go. So it's gonna mount there, but what's gonna mount it anywhere else? Where, mount where? It doesn't it to the brake. Ooh, what is this? How does this mount? Okay, so let's say we mount the fender mm -hmm. here, right? Above it? Above, uh, under. Under, okay. And then we mount the fender here. Mm -hmm. Then now the we can mount it to the now the the uh, what's this called rack. The rack. <laughs> now the rack mm -hmm. has three mounting points because the fender is going to mount it to here and then these two. Mmm, I see what you're saying. See what I'm saying? So let's see if we have a fender. Okay. Okay. Look at that. We got a fender. From Electric XP. <laughs> and it's a four fat tire too. Alright, George not answering. So what? So if we mount the fender to the to the rack. Okay. And then we mount the edge of the fender to the bike. Okay. So you're saying mount it there. Mount it there. Then it's mounted there. And then we got the other two points. And then the other two points. On the other side. How does that fender look? The length. The length of the fender? It looks yeah. bomb. It's bomb? Yeah. Because it's not all too long. Yeah. It looks dope. Mm -hmm. It's not too crazy. Hey, sorry What's about up? that, man. I, don't, I had to figure out how to use FaceTime because I do that uh, Android phone. Yeah, and I know. My work phone, I rarely do anything. <laughs> it's like, how do, you, how do you FaceTime? Say what's up to the people you're going to be on the hey. video. <laughs> hey, people, what's popping? <laughs> so this is the rear rack, right? Yes, sir. I was hoping that it was going to be, you know, like a universal one that would just fit perfectly. So as you can see, it has two mounting points right here, right? Yes. One, yes, sir. two. Okay. So this is the lowest it can go, right? This is the lowest it right. can go. It's not quite, you know, on the frame. So we were thinking right. about scooting it forward. So if you scoot a little bit forward, then we might be able to do something, right? Mm -hmm. You think? Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. But still, I know, I know you see what I'm saying? But still, exactly but still it only has two mounting points. Oh, let me, let me show you. There's my grandparents right there. Well, with yes, only two mounting points and a heavy battery, mm -hmm. this thing is gonna, if you can show them, it's gonna, it's, it's not gonna be secure. Cause it's only gonna be two oh, mounting oh, yeah, points. Yeah, 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 yeah. So there needs to be a third mounting that. point. What do you think about color? Because the rack is black, the rims are red and the, the uh, frame is blue, so what do you think about the color of the fender? The color of the fender. Which what are you thinking? Because this is it's already black now, but yeah. To be real, what you got? Leave it black. Leave it black. Yeah, leave it black. Guys, we're gonna have a talk because, dude, prior to me getting into e-bikes, I am I just wasn't a mechanical person, dude. Like you would never catch me with a freaking screwdriver. So this is exactly what I'm talking about. I'm just not mechanical. I don't know any terms. I don't know how things work, but I really like e-bikes. Do, we, do we have another one? Yeah, grab another one. How the other bag? I really enjoy e-bikes and I kind of understand this stuff, okay? So don't think of me as like some professional mechanic guy, okay? I'm not that guy. Come say hi to the people. This is my grandmother, guys. Oh my Look God. how beautiful she is. Oh, hello there. Oh, yeah. Everybody. Say hello, you two. <laughs> hello, you two. <laughs> <laughs> That's my grandma. That's beautiful. The, yeah. bike, the bike is beautiful. It's so nice, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. I love it. I wish I could keep it. It's not mine. <laughs> <laughs> well, you do a good job for everybody. So yeah. You treat them all like they're yours. Yeah, That's I just enjoy cool. doing it. Mm -hmm. Just so much fun. All right, guys, this is why it's important to uh, read the instruction manual because we found out that there's more to this rear rack than what we thought, okay? So as you guys can tell, the rear rack requires some assembly. And that's what we're currently doing right now. There were some extra pieces that we need to add on there. So 
my dad's currently doing that right now and we're just going to show you guys that process because look this diy stuff is hard okay it's not just plug and play we're not going to use the fender but man that would have been super dope if we did but we're going to move on so now we're adding these little extra brackets because we were pointing out earlier that this rear rack only had two mounting points well it actually has four okay so these are the other two and we're going to actually mount them to his rear reflectors and it lined up perfectly all right so these just slide into these little mounts here and this is how it's adjustable this is how it's like a universal rack because you can maneuver these Let's see up top you can slide them in and out you can make this longer you can change the angle to adjust the rack to make it fit your bike okay so that's what we're doing now and then it came with these little pieces right here and these are going to mount to the rack and the frame okay i'll show you guys how to do it so we're going to use this piece and we're going to slide it in this little slot right here boom we're going to use a bolt or screw to lock that in you can adjust the height depending on your bike frame that's why it has all those holes right here if you guys can see where is it right here there's like a little hole right here in the frame see it kind of get it on camera mm. It's mm. over here. Mm. Right here. See it? Mm. Boom, where my finger is. So that's where it's gonna mount to the frame. So I'm gonna get a screw and put it right here in that hole. All right guys, we flipped the bike over, took out that rear wheel. We also added some tape here because we didn't want to scratch the frame. I suggest you guys do that because this chain, as you can see, it rubs, okay? And we don't wanna mess up his beautiful frame. So now we're about to try to mount this rack with these holes right there. Boom, cool? Cool. So the kit came with these little mounts. These are so you can attach a bungee cable to your rack. So we already attached it to this side, as you can see. So we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. It's super simple, so I'm not gonna even show this part, guys. Really simple. Boom, 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 okay? Easy. Okay, I'll show it. Fine. You guys wanted a detail. Boom. See? Boom. Easy. Like I said. We just took this disc brake off of the old rim. We're about to put it on the new one with the hub motor. So I'm just taking out these screws real quick. This is super easy, so I won't show you guys this part, but we're just taking all the screws out. And then we're going to put this on and then put the screws back on. Super simple, okay? We just put his old tire on the new rim. If I got to show you guys how to do that, then I don't know what to tell you, dog. You probably shouldn't do this. Now, we're going to mount this to the bike. And um, we still don't even know if the frame is... I mean, we still don't even know if the rear rack is straight. So then we're going to flip the bike over, make sure everything's straight. And then we'll move on. Currently mounting the tray for the battery. This is easy. You just putting these screws in and then you put some bolts underneath here right there you see it easy stuff this is this is so the battery can slide in and out and then this hole is where the battery locks in it cool thing about this battery is that it has a built-in rear light i don't know if it's a brake light but it should work as a rear light so it slides in like this and you want to make sure that this is in the unlock position because this is essentially what's going to lock the battery in. Okay, so here we go. I'll take the key out. Alright, here we go. See, it's not supposed to be bent like this. Alright guys, so the, um, the rear rack came bent in shipping. We thought that's how it's supposed to look, but look, check it out. So that's preventing us to put the battery inside. So we're gonna ch attempt to take that to bend it up and make it straight again. You bent it. I saw that. Now is it damaged? <laughs> Boom! Look at that battery sliding into that thing. So the battery slid in. It was a struggle. I'm not gonna lie. It's not the smoothest, but. That's not on us, okay? Speaking of not on us, China, you gotta do better, man. I barely put my thumb on this. This thing just came off, so now we're gonna have to take this whole piece off, 
it's only four screws. We're gonna do it right and glue it on now so it doesn't easily just fall off. All right guys, so we fixed the rear light now. It's all intact. The rack is looking nice and neat. Look at it, it's level. It's on there, nice and sturdy. So I think we're gonna end the video here. Like I said, it's gonna be like a two, two parter, maybe a three parter. So in the next video, we're gonna add the torque arms, add the controller, add all the wires and everything. And I think we should be done if we don't come into any hiccups, okay? But that's the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, we'll see you next time. Deuces. Like that.